Homosexuality is often seen as something that's not natural, something that doesn't give a living organism any advantage whatsoever. Many people actually think that homosexuality is something that only occurs in human beings and any other species in the wild has homosexual couples. But is that really the case? If we consider most of the monogamous species, we can actually find homosexual couples. Organisms like pigeons, penguins and even swans can have homosexual behavior and a homosexual couple that last for their entire life. But how is that even possible? What's the advantage for these organisms? There are two main reasons homosexuality can be advantageous for a species in the wild. First of all, by not having any kids, homosexual couples can use most of their time searching for resources. And if the species lives in communities, these resources found by homosexual couples can be shared with all the other individuals. The second reason can be related to adoptions. In species like penguins, for instance, when a chick loses their parents, it can be adopted from other couples. But penguins can take care only of one chick at a time, so if a couple already has a chick, it will not adopt a new one. In this case, homosexual couples will always have a free spot for orphans and can take care of them. Also, black swans, for instance, have been seen kidnapping other chicks or eggs from heterosexual couples to take care of them, and by doing so they increase the chance of survivability of the chicks, because parents have less work to do and can dedicate more time to fewer children. On my YouTube channel you can find a video in which I explain better these concepts. I am Glarion and if you want to know more be sure to follow me on all my channels.